Are you fluent in another language and want to make money with your skills? Being a translator is a very popular job for people who speak multiple languages, and there are plenty of reasons for this. You can work online from home or from anywhere you want. You have flexible work hours, and you can make a very good income. In today's video, we want to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can become a translator and show you how much you can earn and what factors can increase your rates. But before we start, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to never miss a new video on how to make money online. Let's start with the first step you need to take to become a translator, and that is become certified. You don't need to be bilingual to become a translator, but of course, you should be absolutely fluent in your second language. While you don't necessarily have to be certified to find freelance jobs, a degree in translation, interpreting, or linguistics is surely a good idea. It will help you a lot when approaching clients or agencies, as you can prove that you are qualified. Plus, most courses are very hands-on and also teach you how to find translation jobs. The same goes for certifications. They can make it much easier to show how skilled you are and thus help you find a job. If you Google around a bit, you should be able to find reasonably priced courses and certifications. You should also plan in a bit of time for this step, since you have to do training, do a test, and wait for the results. Also, bear in mind that no matter how experienced or skilled you are, there is always room for improvement. Soak up all the information you can get. Stay updated on industry and niche developments. Renew some of your certifications or do new tests. As with every new job, never stop learning and improving your expertise. Step number two, pick a niche. If you want to do general translation jobs, you will definitely find a big variety of job offerings. However, there is also much competition, which means your income will be lower. Your chances of finding a job that pays a decent income will increase a lot if you specialize in a certain field. Once you have picked your niche, improve your language skills, familiarize yourself with the terminology and read much in this area. Make sure you read the news and stay up to date. When you are an expert in your niche, your work will be easier and your job opportunities also increase. Also, get familiar with so-called CAT tools. Many translators use computer-assisted translation tools. These are software packages that improve your efficiency by spell checking, text alignment, and creating translation memories. These databases contain already translated text and suggest these phrases when the translator encounters similar segments. If you want to become a translator, it's a good idea to learn how to use them as they will simplify your work and you are likely going to need them anyway when you work with agencies or experienced clients. Step number three. Market yourself. Now, it's time to actively look for jobs. Luckily, there are many ways to find translator jobs online for freelancers. Here are a few inspirations. 1. Social media. Never underestimate the power of social media when it comes to job searches. Facebook groups are a great way to get information and to find your future client or employer. Check groups like Translation Jobs and Translators or Worldwide Translation and Interpretation Jobs. Twitter can also do wonders. Send out tweets letting your followers know that you want to become a translator and look for job opportunities. Or search for hashtags such as hashtag translator job or hashtag translating. And of course, be present on LinkedIn. Have your profile up to date and let other users know you are looking for work. Be open and connect with potential clients or agencies. Number two, networking. You can't go wrong with reconnecting with a few old friends from university or your former working colleagues or boss. Check out events or meetups of other translators. You never know if someone requires a translation service. Have a look around and let them know you are available if needed. Number three, translation portals and associations. There are also translation portals and associations, which are not only a great way to connect with other translators and get the latest industry news, but also helpful to find a job. It's definitely worth joining them. Here are some examples. Translators Cafe, Pro-Z, American Translators Association, and Institute of Translation and Interpreting. Number four, freelance websites. There are countless websites out there that connect freelancers and clients. Many of the offered jobs are in the translation field, so there is high demand, but be advised that there is a lot of competition too. This can lower your rate significantly. Nevertheless, it can be a good way to start your freelance translation career and gain experience and reviews. If you prove yourself as a reliable translator, some clients might be willing to increase their rates for you. 
Popular freelance websites are, for instance, Upwork, Freelancer, Fiverr, or People Per Hour. Translation agencies. The good thing with translation agencies is that they do the marketing and find potential clients, which means you don't have to worry about that. However, your income will be lower since the agency needs to earn money too. How much can you earn as a translator? As with most jobs, your potential rates can vary a lot. It depends on factors such as language pair. If one of your languages is a very common language, i.e. Spanish or German, there will be a lot of competition. Hence, the rates will be lower. Less common languages like Greek, Korean, or Vietnamese are more promising in terms of rates. Language direction. It is important that you always translate into your native language. Even if you are absolutely fluent in a second language, you will never be as perfect as a native speaker. That's why people who translate from English to another language, for instance, Hungarian, can make more money than people who translate from Hungarian to English. Simply because there are more English native speakers, which means more competition and lower rates. Specialism. As already mentioned, if you want to become a translator, you should focus on one field rather than staying a generalist. The more you niche down, the less competition and the more you can charge. Lucrative fields would be finance, engineering, or the legal and medical industries. After hour work. Companies often need translations on short notice. If that means you have to work on weekends, late nights, or holidays, you could add a surge charge to your rate, but always clarify with your client beforehand. Now, let's have a look at a few numbers. According to Translate Media, the average salary for an in-house translator in the USA starts between $24,000 and $28,000 per year. If you are more experienced, this can be $40,000 or more per year. As a freelance translator, your income is dependent on how many clients you have and how well you negotiate. Once you have some experience and a good base of clients, you can earn between $40,000 and $55,000. Again, this could be much more or also much less, depending on the before mentioned factors. However, you will most likely charge per word that needs to be translated. Expect roughly $0.04 cents and $0.10 cents per word. If you are specialized in a high-paying niche, such as the legal or medical industry, it can also be up to $0.35 cents per word. That means for a page with about 500 words, you could earn anywhere between $20 and $175. As you can see, you can earn quite a decent income with translation jobs. But you need to put in the work first and become certified or get a language degree. Once you've got the first step, you should pick a niche and become an expert in your field of expertise. After that, it's time to find clients. You can use social media, network, use translation portals, freelance websites, or work for translation agencies. And the best part, as a translator, you can work from anywhere you want and enjoy a highly flexible work schedule. If you enjoyed this video, you'd help us a lot with a thumbs up or by leaving a comment below. Please also don't forget to subscribe to see more videos on how to make money online. Thanks for watching.